Greetings everybody, my name is Crimson and welcome back to some more Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo! And we were left off in the cafeteria last time getting the Morph Ball Bomb and then the map. So we're gonna continue from here and head towards the next area. Now I'm recording this the same day, so right now it's... Uh, well it is 1am, so technically it's... Uh, yeah, January 11th right now. I'm recording this right after the uh, Silent Hill stream. Well, not right after, I took like one and a half hour break, watched some Game Grubs, and now I'm here and I felt like I want to play this game some more. Because of the Silent Hill Origins Live and Blind Part 1 stream uh, did not turn out so well. The game was okay, but it didn't give me so much to work with. And then I just felt like I want to play some game where I know what I'm doing, actually, so that's what I'm doing. Here's an energy tank. I'm not gonna get that music. It will give me double the health. So that's really good. We have 99 energy, but now we have two tanks of 99 energy. So the first time you get it, you get double the health. The next time you get it, it's just, um, what is it? 33% more health? No, it, it's 50, 50 more health. I'm not very good at math, so. We have uh, some space pirates, they're not very, not a big threat. You could actually just bomb them to death, which I didn't know about until I watched uh, Game Grubs' uh, series on this game. There's a door, we could open it just with a bit, but um, yeah, well, you can gonna check it out. So yeah, it's uh, in the middle of the night. I should actually be sleeping, but hey, it's Saturday, or now it's Sunday, so let's play some video games. There's a big old goldie statue with all the four bosses, main bosses, that we need to defeat in order to progress to the end of the game. So, yeah. I guess you could see which one is which, right? It's kind of a spoiler, though. But, well, who cares? Man, look at this fluid motion. I love doing this in 50 FPS. I've never seen a commentary or any type of series on this game in higher than 30 FPS. And Game Grubs uh, series was uh, in 30 FPS. But that was before they enabled 60, but it doesn't matter, they still don't do series at uh, over 30 FPS, and that's quite sad. I really like, you know, that fluid motion. So here's the elevator to the next stage, let's go! And we arrive, good folks. In the best stage ever. It's the Brinstar with kick ass music and everything you need for your Metroid moistness. Crawling creatures everywhere. But this game is just so much fun to play. Lots of these doors, we can just blow them up and check them out one by one. Oh shit, no! Did not mean to do that. Oh, we can open this one as well. Now we don't have any more missiles, so. But all of them are open, so that's good. Man, what a crazy day this has been. Uh, before the stream, just like 15 minutes before the stream, my power went out for like 20 minutes. And I was very close to just cancel the stream and go to Nana's place because I was hungry. And I was actually just making food in the microwave. In the middle of it, everything turned off. So I'm like, fuck, everything is dark, I'm hungry, I can't do shit. Yeah, here is Brinstar. Very good. So that's what happened, and the power went back on, and I moved up the stream one hour. So it started at the usual time of 8pm, um, my time, which is the Central European time. And then I went ahead and streamed, and... Yeah, as I said, it wasn't very good. It was okay. I've had better streams. Let's check out this room. Man, playing this game makes me so happy. I might be saying that too much, but I just love it. I've played this game all my life. Literally all my life. Oh shit, we can't go over there. Can't blow this up and shoot these creatures like this. Yeah. But we can't go any further than that. So... This is all we can do in this room for now, 
But the, the, actually, there is a little bit of sequence break you can do, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it, but I'm gonna give it like one or two tries. So this is what you do. You run and you jump at uh, just before you go into the door. You go like this, make yourself into a ball and roll under that thing. It's very tricky to do and I've only managed to do it with save states. So I fail, I restart from the loading screen and I just retry until I get it. So I can try one more time and then we will move forward. Because this is just boring to watch I guess. Nah, no, I'm not gonna get it. Oh shit, almost. Right, really I didn't. You're supposed to get the running speed with the morph ball. It's really hard to do. At least for me. So. And it's it's a very nice sequence break, but uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Let's just play it normally for now. There's a save point in there. Not gonna bother touching that right now. But I do want to explore the map to its fullest, so I might as well be in there. This is a 100% run after all, but uh, I don't think I'm going to explore the whole map. Is it like nitpicking? Nope. Just gonna get all the items, see um, most of the game, or basically all of the rooms. It's just that I don't have to be in every single square in the room. But I probably w will end up doing that. Now these creatures, they light up the room, so the more you kill, the less you will see. And they will ne never go after you, so there's no no real threat to them. But you can kill like three of them. Oh shit, that was not a missile door. Inside there is a missile refueling station, so you can do like this, and you get your missiles back. Now this is a very cool trick with these uh, refueling stations, is that if you go into the map when you run towards it, you will start, you know, the process, and when you unpause, you can run around while you're doing it. So see, Mr. Reload completed, and I can run out right away. That's a speedrunning trick, and I like to do that, because it's, you know, it's faster and it's fun to do. Now, even though this is uh, the Paul version, it, I think this game is optimized for Paul, so it still runs at the same speed, just not the same frame rate. But since we're doing this at 50 FPS, it still feels like, you know, the real deal. Maybe. Let's see if we can shoot this guy. My select button is very bad. No, I missed him! Come on now! Yes! I never used the missiles on these guys. Maybe I should have done that. It makes it much easier. Shit! Shit! Okay, good. Come to a wall, yes, blow it up like this. I want to watch the shot, I always blew up the whole thing, even though it's quite tricky to do. Because you need to bomb up and then lay a bomb. These guys are quite rare, you can only see them here, I think. And they are invulnerable. So weird. I don't think you can see them anywhere else in the game. Now, this big uh, vertical room. Let's see, there are several ways we can take, but we can go up first. And work our way down. Man, I love the wall jump. It's uh, so nice. Some of the other 2D Metroids also have wall jump, but not as fun as this game. Let's see, in Metro Fusion you can do that, but you can you cannot do it on the same wall. You can't do it like this. Uh, let's see, like this. On the same wall. Like that. And of course, that in eliminates... Um, what well, is the sequence breaks because all most of them are with the wall jump. But I just think that adds another layer of fun to the game, at least for me, since I replay it so much. Oh yeah. Sitting here with a full glass of red wine. That's all you need. You haven't had a missile door. This room gave me some trouble the first time I played the game, because I was really bad against these guys. But I guess just one missile is enough to kill them. Yeah, so, no biggie. And up here, good folks, guess what we will find? The coolest boss ever! It's the Spore, or whatever his name is, I really don't know actually. But he's so cool and the music is even better. You shoot these things to get your um, things back and he will open his mouth at some point. 
he shoots some missiles at him. Or he can use the charge beam, but I don't have that yet, since I went up right away. Now you see this door right here, it's the green one, and that's um, a super missile door. And if I did that sequence break back there, I could have gotten the super missile early, and thereby escape this boss to my leisure, but <laughs> there's no real point to it, actually. Now the easiest thing, easiest way to beat this boss, in my opinion, is just to hold the R button so you aim up, and then run back and forth and shoot all of them, you get supplies all the time. And occasionally you shoot up. No, one thing I don't... I am... Um, What's it? What's it called? Um, um, shit, I hate when I forget the words. I irritated myself very much uh, on one thing in the Game Grubs um, series, and that is that Aaron, who mostly played the game, he he played the whole game. He never used L and R, you know, to aim up or down. I don't think he ever used that, and in some situations, like, come on, man, use it. It's L and R. It's not so hard to find, but you know. Can't blame him so much. And I'm not that type of guy who's like, oh, I'm so much better than everyone else. I'm a pro at this game, and other people who don't play as much as me are, you know, bad. I I'm not that kind of person. It's just that it's one of the things you think about because for me, it's so obvious. You use LNR to aim up and down, but may not be obvious to other people. I think you can stay like this. Yeah, you can. Stay like this, and you don't get hurt. I actually didn't know about that. Take some recovery. You, can, no, you can't sit and aim up, so... And here we go, he be dead, boy! Oh, I thought he was going to eat me there. And one uh, cool thing about this boss is... Uh, that I will show it next time. So, thank you very much for watching this part, good folks. And I will see you on the next part. Take care!